welcome along everybody to the Euro NASCAR 2 finals, the NASCAR Grand Prix of Italy at Autodroma Vallelunga. It's great to be back at this circuit. We visited it for the first time in 2020, but unfortunately at the time that was behind closed doors. Fans are allowed again this weekend. What's happened so far this season? Well, we kicked the year off at Circuit Ricardo Turbo in Spain, where Tobias Downhauer and Martin Dubeck, the two Hendricks teammates, were wheel to wheel all weekend. But it would be Martin Dubeck that would go to victory lane in both of the races. On to Brands Hatch next, where Advait Yoda made history to become the first Indian to win an NASCAR race, his first career win. But in the second race of the weekend, it was Tobias Downhauer that would go towards victory lane, his first win of the season. On to Most in the Czech Republic next, and in changeable conditions, Tobias Dauenhauer managed to come through and claim both wins in Euro NASCAR 2 to continue to lead the championship. It was Grubnik in Croatia next up, where in the first race of the weekend, it would be Martin Dubek that would claim the win, his third of the season. But in the second race of the weekend, it was once more his teammate and main championship rival, Tobias Dauenhauer, that would taste victory. He would come home and head towards victory lane for win number four of the championship season. It was on to Zolder in Belgium next, where Nave Talor and Vladimiris Joitsis would line up on the front row of the grid. First career pole for Vladimiris Joitsis. Could he convert it to a first career win? Well, at the start of the race, he lost out to Nave Talor, and Nave Talor was about to make his own little bit of history, claiming his first career win and the first career win for not only motorsport in the NASCAR Wheel in Euro Series. Delight for the team, utter delight for the Israeli in victory lane. In the second race of the weekend, Tobias Dauenhauer and Nave Talo would line up on the front row of the grid, but Martin Dubeck would pick up the early race lead. Dauenhauer was then deemed to have run Nave Talo wide going into the cleaner chicane. They would both continue in the race, but Dauenhauer would be given a time penalty, which means that Dubeck was on for another victory, his fourth of the championship season. Couldn't be any closer coming into the finals this weekend. Just three points separates Tobias Downhauer from Martin Dubeck in the championship. And Vladimir Joitsis is not too far away either. The same format as ever. Two championships, four races over the weekend. Coming up in a moment is Euro NASCAR 2 for the young and the amateur drivers. Downhauer is the championship leader. But remember, it's the finals. 80 points now for a win. So the drivers looking forward to heading out around this fantastic Vallelunga circuit, which in the 1950s was a dirt track used for horse racing. The first part of the lap, very quick indeed, but once you get to turn number eight and nine, then it starts to slow down. Warm and sunny conditions as well for this time of year. Doesn't feel too autumnal. The Euro NASCAR division will be racing over 15 laps around this four kilometer circuit. Tobias Downhauer, the championship leader, will start for pole. Let's hear from him. I'm, I'm very happy now, but uh, yeah, let's focus on the race. That counts and uh, I try to do my best and uh, yeah, hopefully we will reach a good result in race one. So the drivers are ready. The fans who return to watch the action are ready. Many of them dressed in Halloween costumes this weekend. We're about to get the first final, the double points playing final underway. Tobias Downhauer and Vladimir's choices on the front row of the grid. Simon Palat and Francesco Garisto on row number two. Buckle up, we go green and we get the first race of the weekend underway for Euro NASCAR 2. A good start from Tobias Dauenhauer, but Vladimir Choices is trying to go with him. A really good start also from Francesco Garisto, who might be through into second. Yes, he is, but he goes wheel to wheel with Vladimir Choices. But he has the inside line as they head up towards Chimney 1 for the first time. We go on board with the number 27 of Pierluigi Veronese, who's all over the place and all into the gravel trap up at Chimney 1 and Chimney 2. Should the Italian be able to recover as he rally crosses his way back onto circuit in the background of the shot? So Tobias Downhauer leads the way. Francesco Garisto there in second place. Vladimir is choices in the number one Ford under pressure from the number seven Hendricks Ford of Martin Dubeck that sits behind. Remember Dubeck fourth in the race, but second in the championship. And it's so important to gain places in these all important double points paying final races of the season. Over the start finish line they'll go. Martin Dubeck trying to attack for position. Further down through the order, Max Lancer leading the challenger trophy standings at this stage in the championship. He's under pressure from Advait Dioda and Leonardo Colavita fighting for ninth place overall in the race at the moment, but Lancer can afford to let them through and still hang on to the challenger title, but he will want to make sure he tries to stay ahead of them in terms of the battle in this race, of course. Monster Energy back, Chevy having to work overtime. Cal Racing teammate, Advait Dioda, Brands Hatch winner, sitting directly behind. And is Advait going to have a quick nibble here? He's having a look as they head up towards Roma. No, just too far away, but on the exit of the corner, the banked corner, he might be able to draw himself alongside, you know. They're side by side coming out of the corner. 
and they are still going to be, I think, side by side as they come over the start finish line. Advert Joda can't quite make it stick. So up towards Kerber Grande. Good little squabble going on. Lancer doing overtime to try and keep Advert Joda and Leonardo Colavita behind him. Leonardo driving an unusual car for him this weekend. His main car that he would race was damaged earlier on this weekend. So work having been done and a deal having been done to drive a spare car as now Dioda attacks up the inside of Max Lancer. Through goes Advite Dioda and Leonardo Colavita, the young 16-year-old, is going to take the opportunity as well to squeeze his way through. Yeah, Max Lancer pushed wide, loses two places, might lose a further place as well because Alberto Panabianco in the not only motorsport number 89 car is not too far away. So 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th now all getting themselves together as they head round through Trinchea. Good fight going on for 13th place as well. This is two new drivers to the championship for this weekend. The Finnish driver, Osi Peltola, coming under pressure from Alfredo Di Matteo, who's tried to squeeze the 17 through. You have John Sokolovsky in the light blue car, not too far away. Miguel Gomez behind him as they head up towards Roma. But at the moment, it is still the young Finnish driver, Osi Peltola, that's at the head of that queue of cars, but trying to get the overlap and squeeze his way through, making his debut in the series, is the 27-year-old Italian, Alfredo Di Matteo who we've seen racing in Porsche Carrera Cup Italy more recently, and he's going to go through. Yeah, through goes the 42 racing machine. Osi Peltola loses the place. Back towards the front of the field, and Vladimir Ischoitz is still hanging on to third at the moment. The two Fords, the Academy Alex Caffey Motorsport car, under pressure from the Hendricks Ford as Dubek squeezes his way up the inside as they head in towards Champagnano. So place gained for Martin Dubeck. That has implications on the championship, of course, remember. That means that at the moment he is going to pick up 68 points now for third place rather than 66. But Joyce is trying to fight back as they go through Sorati. And he might have the inside line again here as they head up through Frinchea. Can't quite do it, though. So Martin Dubeck up into third position. Vladimir Joyce is down into fourth. Simon Palat, the young 19-year-old Belgium, sitting there in fifth place, whilst all of the time up the road leading the race is Tobias Dauenhau, the championship leader, who is just going to further strengthen his championship lead at this stage. Remember, there were three points separating Tobias Dauenhau from the number seven Ford of Martin Dubeck in the championship coming into this race. Well, if Dubeck stays where he is, that championship gap is going to open up to 15 championship points with just one more race to come later on over the course of this weekend. Tobias Downhauer finished runner-up in the championship last year in Euro NASCAR 2. Slight mistake there from Vladimir Ischoitzis, and that instantly allows Simon Palat to squeeze his way through. Not quite sure what happened to the Cypriot there, but instantly capitalising was the young Belgian driver. Through he goes and puts the DF1 racing car up a place. Now Tobias Downhauer looking untroubled in the lead of the race. Everything so far this weekend has gone to plan with him. He was pretty dominant last year at this circuit. Go on board with... Advite Dioda is just working his way out of the left-hander up towards the S's. Looking to try and put the cars ahead under pressure. He's involved in a great little battle, Justin Kutz that sits ahead of him. And then the next of the cars just ahead of that is going to be Nave Talor. Justin Kutz looking for the inside on Nave Talor. They're all bottled up behind Vladimir Choitsis, whose car seems to have gone off the boil a little bit here. Choitsis under huge pressure. Five cars queuing up behind, two of them side by side, being Justin Kutz in the red car to the left of your screens. Advert Yoda trying to unpick him for seventh position, but it's Joitzis that's the cork in the bottle, and he's lapping slower than all of the cars behind, who have all caught him, but can't quite as yet muster their way through. Navetalor's going to go through here. Yeah, there must be a problem with Joitzis' car, some sort of issue. Through goes Navetalor, and, yeah, there just isn't the fire in the belly of the car anymore, some sort of mechanical issue, I'm sure, for Vladimir Joitzis. He will be seeing his championship aspirations disappear, really. Justin Coots comes from a long way back, really closes onto the coattails of Vladimir Ischoitzis, but Advite Jodo breaks even later and goes around the outside of Justin Coots. Pure racing from Euro NASCAR 2. Is Advite Jodo going to get pushed wide? Ischoitzis is the meat in the sandwich. Jodo to the left, Coots to the right. They both side their way past him. So two places gained by Advite Dioda, but then runs a little bit wide coming out of Cerati. Justin Coots takes the place back, and Choitzis is then picked off by the next two cars as well. So that was Levy Lintercanto that went by, and then there's a spin coming out of Trinchea for Advite Dioda. His car spins to the inside of the circuit, but can't get going again. So out comes the full course caution. Safety car comes out. We get Advite Dioda's car out of harm's way. 
And now that means that the lead advantage that Tobias Downer has built up has dwindled to nothing with three laps to go. We get the race back underway here at Autodromo de Vallelunga. Tobias Downhauer looking to try and maintain the lead of the race, but back under pressure from Martin Dubeck, who's through into second place and has managed to squeeze his way through and ahead of Francesco Garisto. So that has, again, implications for the championship. It means that Tobias Downhauer will still be leading the championship, will still have extended his championship lead, but it's now 15 points that will separate the pair of them as they head up towards the braking area for the S's and then out of the S's and up towards Roma. Tobias Downhauer is on course for another win. This will be win number five of the championship season for Tobias Downhauer. He heads up towards the chequered flag. It's a Hendricks 1-2, but it's Downhauer that claims the win. Martin Dubeck in second place, head of Francesco Garisto in third place. A fantastic start to our finals weekend. Tobias Downhauer is the winner. Let's head down towards victory lane and chat to our race winner. Yeah, very good start for us uh, in this final weekend, uh, pole position in qualifying and now win in the first race. I'm, I'm so happy the, the guys of all my team did an amazing job and uh, yeah, at the end it was a bit of action with the safety car but I could manage to stay in front and I'm yeah, just happy, good foundation for tomorrow and I'm looking forward. A very good foundation indeed for tomorrow, could he claim the championship title? In the rookie trophy, the first race of the weekend, the win went the way of Levi Lintercantu in the number 23 Chevy. In the Legend Trophy, it was the Italian Max Lancer that came out on top for Cal Racing. And in the Lady Trophy, Alina Leubniger for Solaris Motorsport took the win.